Hey guys, it's sunny days, so do not mind how the screen is right now. I know it's like sideways and stuff. Um, so we're gonna play scribble dots today, so let's get started. Okay, so uh there's no buttons there. Okay, so that should be good. Okay, so I'm just this dude right here. So start. So I've already played this game before. So, okay. Continue. Oh, so really quick, you guys, I'll turn this up a little bit. So you can, uh, if you listen carefully, you can, uh, watch this real quick. So let's just turn these real quick. You guys can watch the intro. So I'll be quiet. Our story begins with Grandpa Edgar and Grandma Julie. You might not believe this, but Grandpa Edgar... You're used to be the world's greatest adventurer. Grandma Julie would beg to differ. She was also an adventurer. Edgar would often brush away vines or open doors thought to be undisturbed for generations, only to find Julie was already there having lunch. They competed like this on adventure after adventure. On one adventure, Julie beat Edgar to the top of a long lost pyramid. But the treasure she found was an engagement ring. The two of them semi-retired to start a family and they continued starting that family until they had 42 children. One day, Mom and Dad gave Maxwell and me two amazing gifts. The first was a magic globe that let you travel anywhere in the world. The second was the most amazing notebook. This notebook let you write any word in it, and poof, the word would come to life. Our parents were worried about us turning out to be spoiled little brats, so they sent us out to face the challenges of the outside world. On the road to the city, we ran into an old man who said he was hungry. Maxwell made something to give him, but he played a nasty trick. The apple was rotten. Oh, the old man spat it out as soon as he tasted it and was very, very angry. As he cast some sort of magic, he called us spoiled little kids and then disappeared. It didn't seem like anything had happened. But when Maxwell turned to continue down the road, I couldn't follow him. The old man had put a curse on me that was turning me to stone. We didn't know what to do. Luckily, our brother Edwin's farm was nearby. Boy, you should have seen how angry Edwin was. He couldn't believe what we did to the old man and said we probably deserved what we got. He knew about starites. Starites are magic objects born out of the happiness of others. If you do enough things to make others happy, you will find starite. Hopefully, if Maxwell used the notebook's power for good, he could collect enough starite Remove the curse, Maxwell said. That's it. I'm going to go out and do good things for all the people I can find. I'm going to get all the starites in the world, and I'm going to make you better, Lily. So Maxwell grabbed his notebook and headed for the door. to press continue now. Oh my gosh. So. So, let's 
guy's rusty, so let's not make it rusty. So let's go rusty.
stairs we go. Nope, what's happening? Can I play that? Can I play that? Hang on a sec. Bye.